now and Bullwinkle one of the first to break the line in front from Sunday News and Cos Rosie's back on the inside and Pass Master further out with Jack Will Do. Blue Sky King is picking up ground. Bullwinkle is trying to restrain it. There's a couple charging up towards the second now. Cos Rose has now gone forward up on the inside of Bullwinkle. Sunday News and Jack Will Do is going to tuck in behind them now from Pass Master. Blue Sky King just a little deep early. Two lengths further back than Desiree. They're followed by Noble Ben Barra over on the inside. Uh, back behind those then came Wooden Duck and last of all is Gold Draw. Coming to the back the first time Cosrose through on the inside three quarters in front now from Bullwinkle Sunday News a length away as they go over that one a length into Blue Sky King then came the inside Miss Jack will do outside at Pass Master two then to Windsor Boy Desiree Noble Ben Barra two further back Wooden Duck and last of all Gold Draw off the back on the first lap now and coming down the school side and the leader Cosrose not a great deal of speed nearly a length in front now from Bullwinkle outside it a length and a half Sunday News and Blue Sky King has gone up fourth the outside as they go to that next one and Bullwinkle's gone up to join and Cosrose. Sunday News third, then Blue Sky King fourth, fifth as Jack will do. Two to pass Master, two then over on the inside, Windsor Boy as they measure the next. Windsor Boy tucked into it, outside of Desiree's about eight off the front. Two lengths further back, Noble Ben Barra, three to Gold Draw, and Wooden Duck last of all. Through the gap, back onto the course proper, up to the top turn, over 2,000 metres to go, and Cosrose is in control. About three quarters of a length in front now from Bullwinkle on the outside. Two lengths further back is Sunday News, who's tucked away on the inside of Blue Sky King. Then Jack will do running fifth back to the fence, a length further back, then pass master wins a boy. Coming to the flight in front of the stands here, Cosrose came to it, leapt over it well, and landed a half length in front of Bullwinkle under uh, restraint at the judge with a lap to go. Sunday news third, fourth is Blue Sky King. Jack will do as fifth, a length pass master, then wins a boy. A length further back, Desiree from Gold Draw, then Noble Ben Barra, Wooden Duck last of all. Back from where they've started, 600, 1600 metres to go. No change in the order, Cosrose nearly a length in front of Bullwinkle. The leader shifted out and Sunday News picked up the ground and got up on the inside as they come to this double now with about 14.50 to go and they increase the tempo here. Cosrose from Sunday News and Bullwinkle and they start to run along a length and a half. Jack will do and Blue Sky King measuring this next one. Two further back then part came uh, past Master. Desiree going around it from on the inside Windsor Boy and they skipped about four lengths. Gold draw. Then Noble Ben Barr and Wooden Duck last of all. Bunching again into the back now and Jack will do. Going around the outside quickly races up now to hit the front from Cosrose. Led it a half length, a length into Bullwinkle and Blue Sky King. They're nice and handy. Two to Sunday News. He went back to fifth as they measure the next. Pass Master going up between it and Desiree on the outside. A length for the back. Windsor Boy from Gold Draw. Then Noble Ben Barra, Wooden Duck last of all. Coming along the side now. They've got three flights to go. 800 out. Cosrose a half in front of Jack Will Do. Bullwinkle and Eckaway pulled to the outside. Running into it now. A length and a half. Blue Sky King and then Desiree coming to the third last. Bullwinkle moving up quickly with Cosrose is only about a neck between them. Jack will do under pressure, then Blue Sky King and Desiree back to the inside from Windsor Boy and Pass Master. Bullwinkle's at the front. Over the second last, landed a neck in front of Cosrose, fighting back. Bullwinkle a half, Cosrose a length, then Desiree coming through the gap from Blue Sky King and Windsor Boy and two to Pass Master and Wooden Duck. One flight out, Bullwinkle a half in front. Cosrose kicking again, a length and a half, Desiree and then to the outside is Windsor Boy. It's Bullwinkle the leader. He got nearly a length to Cosrose, two lengths then to Windsor Boy. Bullwinkle broke clear. Last flight coming up. He's raced clear. He comes to it. Got over it. Two to Cosrose and wins a boy. And Bullwinkle. Bullwinkle finds the line today at the Valley and wins by two and a half. Second Cosrose. He battled on well. The neck to wins a boy third. A gap pass master. Desiree just ran out of puff. Wooden Duck made some ground. A gap Noble Ben Barra. Then Blue Sky King. Gold draw followed by Jack Will Do. And tailed off his Sunday news. A correct way to the Gold Coast. 186 about to move in at Newcastle. Uh, Bullwinkle to pay three seventy one sixty three. dollars 63 Cosrose $3, 440 for 7 wins a boy. Number 5, that's Bullwinkle to pay 410 190 3 Cosrose 220 and 7 wins a boy $3.70. Eagle Farm Brisbane, we're about to get some late mail. It's weather fine, track good, please note there. We might have said dead earlier, but weather fine, track good at Eagle Farm. In the first scratch, number 2, Mr Monday, number 2. Race two is clear. Race three, Brisbane. Scratchings are two, Super Steam. Five, Plata Aura and 13, Manahar. That's two, five and 13. Race four, 
burst the Sapphire Stakes and they're off. Little Patty from a wider alley got the best of the start immediately headed by Snippets Lass and going quickly as Walnut. And as they settle, Snippets Lass just the leader from Walnut, flying celebrity running into third posse, followed by Flickering Fire. Then Turak, Sash next on the inside, followed by Blazing Aura. Little Patty after a good start is drifting back and the two behind her, a bridal chance and forsaken gold. Snippets Lass past the 750, rushed out with the lead of nearly four lengths now on Walnut. Third posse is flying celebrity, two to Flickering Fire. And then Sash and Turak racing abreast. Two and a half to the Melbourne Philly Blazing Aura, followed by Little Patty Bridal Chance. And the rank outside of Forsaken Gold is last on the corner. And Snippets Lass holds a huge lead. Kevin Moses is trying to pinch it on Snippets Lass. Up the rise she comes. Six lengths on Walnut Sash Flying Celebrity. And then Flickering Fire Turak and Little Patty on the extreme outside. At the distance, 200 metres to go. And Snippets Lass hands and heels by Kev Moses. About three or four lengths on Little Patty who's taking ground off the leader. It's Snippets Lass in front, Little Patty, and then Sash. Little Patty is overpowering Snippets Lass, and as they hit the line, Little Patty got up to win it. Little Patty beat Snippets Lass, who walked the last 50, Sash third, followed by Flickering Fire, Bridal Chant, Flying Celebrity, Blazing Aura, Turak, Walnut, and Forsaken Gold was last. Little Patty. Eight little Paddy to pay seven forty two ten seven snippets last three seventy and three sash one fifty last fifty meters but she's done a good job to win Patty number eight little Paddy will pay eight dollars eighty and two dollars forty snippets last number seven written by Kevin Moses showing a dividend of three dollars ninety and sash number three Larry Cassidy showing a dividend of one dollar and fifty cents those placings are now Samford Ford eight seven and three. The winner, Little Patty, is trained at Wyong by Francis Smith for RSWS and Mrs. D.M. Warnock in partnership with N.G. and Mrs. R. Holman. She's a Bay Mare 5 by Polius Patriot from Palmyra Bay and Shane Dye, the winning rider. Snippets last second, a Mare Bay in colour by Snippets. Snow Finch, Bill Mitchell, Kevin Moses. Kevin tried to pinch it and went close to doing so. And Sash, third by Dr. Grace from award ceremony, a brown mare four, John Hawkes, Larry Cassidy. The official fourth was two flickering fire. Now, the time is 1.10.67. 1.10.67. Well, coincidentally, that's a race record, but what can I say who holds the race record of 1.12.38? Established that on a heavy track. Half neck the winning margin here. That's quite a good run on this uh, slow track, so whether we'll have an upgrade, time will tell. 110.67, a half neck, a short neck. The uh, last 600 took 36.16, and the first 600 in 34.51. Here's Shane Dye returning on Little Patty, a convincing winner of the first of the day. Pyrowis goes in. Harry's on the inside. Happy Cracker in two. Racing, got away well, Happy Cracker down on the inside. Harry's a bit slow to begin. White Shadow dropped well back with Oval Office and Antonov. Away quickly as Gold again with Geiger Wonder. They're hunting up their first and second and Happy Cracker's quickly driven up on the inside of them. A length and a half, Gotham Ruler and further back soaring away. Then Big Timer and Deeper Spargo. Three further back, Pyroas, the inside Harry's. Then to the outside, Limoran, two lengths further back and the race, Sailor V from Antonov. Bally Keneally, Oval Office and White Shadow through the gap and Gold again cleared the field from the outside. Side, two lengths in front now from Happy Cracker. The leader sitting off the fence. A half big time at a third. A length into Spargo deep around soaring away. Gotham Rule of the inside. Geiger one to drop out from Harry's and further back by Rowis. On the turn though and Gold again. A length and a half in front of Happy Cracker. Up on the inside. Gotham Rule then big time but Gold again doing it well inside the 200. This big fellow he's two lengths in front of Happy Cracker trying to pick him up. They're followed back on the inside by Gotham Ruler but Gold again. A most impressive debut. Wins two lengths Happy Cracker. Gotham Rule a third. Pyroas ran on and so did Sailor V, fourth and fifth, and then Harry's. A gap Antonoff out deep. Big time had dropped out from Oval Office. Bally Keneally soaring away, never came into it. A gap in the race into Limeran. Then came White Shadow, followed by Spargo, who finished second to last, and last of all is Geiger Wonder. Before gold again, 760 and 210 approximately. One Happy Cracker, 140, and nine Gotham Ruler, $4. And correct weight the Gold Coast, race three on 723. Number four in Melbourne, happy festival to return five, uh, go again. I've got the Sydney sheet, try the Melbourne sheet. Number four, gold again, that's better. Five, ten, one, seventy, one, happy cracker, one, forty. And uh, for third, number nine, Gotham Ruler to return three dollars and fifty cents. Four, one, nine there, Melbourne race number two.
The National Racing Service time is 17 minutes to one. Our next event for description will come from Eagle Farm in Brisbane. That's race number two there at 12.50 today. And updating the mark. They're off on the Hennessy Cognac plate and a happy festival from the inside a little slowly into stride. Stormy Mo jump well. The New Zealander huge heart got out nicely. So did Lord Carefalonia and Parting Jester. The favourite darting up on the inside. Let's compromise followed by Excite and a gap to Clan Dent. And then comes Happy Festival a length and a half further away in the field is Vanilla Bean. Bocelli second last and absolute captain Cesar past the 800 and Lord Carefalonia just the leader from Let's Compromise. Stormy Mo wide third. Parting Jester in the middle. Exciting near to the inside and two and a half to Happy Festival followed by Vanilla Bean. Huge Heart not travelling well at the moment. Larry Cassidy's got the whip on the Kiwi. It's passed by Clan Dent at about four lengths Bocelli and Captain's Hazar. They're homeward bound and the favourite Let's Compromise railing through and takes the lead from Lord Cafalonia. Exciting third and wider out on the track Vanilla Bean in company with Clan Dent but Let's Compromise raced well clear at the 200. Let's Compromise two and a half. Exciting and followed by Vanilla Bean and Clan Dent heads the others but no worries today let's compromise Vanilla Bean in second spot and then comes Exciton but let's compromise a well deserved win let's compromise from Vanilla Bean and Exciton happy festival ran on when it was all over from Clan Dent and then came Huge Hut good margin but Shelley Captain Cesar Stormy Mo Parting Jester and Lord Cafalonia last to complete the course three let's compromise 220 130 13 Vanilla Bean 230 and 8 Exciton 690. Can't help you with past the post tapes. The on-course system still down. Moving in, Mowbray. First up, first past the post at Rose Hill by an eyelash. Lost it subsequently to Quick Star. Turned out for a spell, then second to a promising horse on two occasions orchestrated. But no orchestrated in the race today. And let's compromise has won and won it well. We'll have the placings uh, passed on to us by the judge in just a moment. Of course, the infield uh, screen, of course, is linked with the totalizator. And uh, whilst those problems are uh, with us, uh, naturally nothing can be shown. Let's compromise is by Bite the Bullet from Miss Exploit, trained by Noel Mayfield Smith for SP and Mrs. C. Kelly, and written by Danny Beasley. OK, we'll get the placings from Mr. Craig Leet, the official judge, and they are, Craig... 3, 13 and 8. 3, 13 and 8. Number 1 ran fourth. Number 1 ran fourth, and we'll get the margins in just a moment. 3 by 3 and a half. 3 by 3 half. OK, thanks very much, sir. Right. So the official numbers in the second of the day are 3, 13 and 8. Number 3, let's compromise Dan Beasley first. Number 13 is second, Vanilla Bean, written by Brian York. And third going to number 8, and that was Excitant, written by Damien Oliver. Roy Phillips, the winning rider. Second number two, Bell Minis. Racing. Came out in a good line. Yumawala couldn't go early from the outside. Captain Clicker bounced quickly. Out fast the Grey Gull Valley pushing through from Magic Claws. Pick up line driving up on the fence. A length for the back tie went from Marstick. The outside compulsion. One cur to fur and four Yumawala. Settling down now. Gull Valley and pick up line the inside. A half Captain Clipper running third. Two further back then came tie win fourth. On the outside of it Magic Claws. One compulsion. Around Marstick. A half further back then on the inside cur to fur. Four lengths Yumawala. 500 to go and it's on the inside pickup line railing up to Gull Valley and Captain Clipper three out a length and a half tie win then came the outside Magic Claws Marstick with nowhere to go goes back to the fence but three lengths off them to the outside then Compulsion Marstick starting to pick up ground first for home pickup line Marstick getting up on the inside Captain Clipper wider out on the track followed by Magic Claws here's Marstick with a run got to pick up line took the lead or oh, a touch of class with his big weight he doesn't have to move on him and Marstick wins two lengths in the run home second is pickup line third tie Captain Clipper or Ty win the rail. Then Compulsion out deep. A gap magic claws could defer. Then came Yuma Waller and last of all is Gold Valley. One mile stick. These pulls are final. 250 and 140. Two pick up line at 240. Other five Captain Clipper at 160 or nine tie win at 1160. One mile stick. 260, 140. Number two pick up line to return 270. Those for third five Captain Clipper. 150 or number nine tie win. Six dollars. Please note, Queanbeyan track downgraded to dead at 121. Queanbeyan track downgraded to dead at 121 after the running of the first there. 23 past one. National Racing Service Triple S FM.
And our next event for description will come from Brisbane at 1.30. We'll be updating that race for you soon. More openers. We look to Tasmania, race number three. The third there today at Mowbray, due at 1.45. Just before that, Captain Clipper number five gets third at Mooney Valley. Five, Captain Clipper third at the Valley. Mowbray, race number three. One, Sericoz opens up on the... Racing on the TJ Smith Stakes. Return to go, tossed his head in the air when the stalls opened. He missed it about a half length and one of the early leaders is paid on the inside. The New Zealander Sam Boa is going up very quickly, followed by Mask Party, Life of Riley, Abinicio pretty wide out. And then Sports followed by Trans-Siberia. And next on the run comes Return to go, a length the Rebel Rock. Four monopolised, two pads do and three lengths to Arcady as they come to the 700 marker and paint on the inside and Sam Boa set a cracking speed. Two lengths length life of Riley, three quarters ab initio, a length further back sports Trans-Siberia return to go out in no man's land, mask parties lost some ground and then comes Rebel Rock followed by Padstone Monopolize and Arcady another six lengths away, homeward bound Paint and Samboa, two lengths on life of Riley and another length to ab initio, followed by sports and then comes Rebel Rock the inside down to the 250, Paint taken on again by Samboa but ab initio and life of Riley claim those two horses, ab initio hits the front from life of Riley sports on the outside and then Padstow but it's Abinicio in front the track record holder here for 1200 he's too good and Abinicio wins the TJ Smith stakes from Padstow life of Riley third and then came sports in company with Arcadia oh, what a return by him a break monopolized Trans-Siberia paint knocked up and then returned to go Sambo a weekend and the last couple were Rebel Rock and Mask Party Abinicio Six Ab initio to pay 380, 170, 11 Padstow, 610 and 12 Life of Riley, 440. And he has won and won it brilliantly today, 360 and 180, but I, I can't uh, let go what I saw flashing home in uh, the last 100 metres. And I refer to Arcady, this horse, a great tribute to veterinary science after having suffered a hairline crack in, uh, in a bone in the near side knee. He fractured a cannon bone, he bowed a tendon. Here he was racing for the first time since an eyelash second of the great octagonal of the 1977 Mercedes. And let's keep our fingers and toes crossed that this horse has come back. But that was a superlative return to the racetrack by Arcady. But let's take stock of the placings 6, 11 and 12. Number 6, Ab Initio first, 360 and 180. Number 11, second, Padstow Brian York has paid 790. A number 12, Life of Riley, third, $3.70. Quinella, 76.40, exact as 72.70. The trifecta is a healthy $1,180.10. The uh, overall time was 110.75, 110.75. The winning margin was a length and a half with a short head between second and third. The first 634.25, the last 636.49. And Ab Inicio is trained here by Pat Webster for G.J. Lane, W.M. Poulton, F. Eccles, D. Woods, W. Manning and B. Lewis by Spectacular Spire from Zamelda. A grey gelding for a great racehorse. 18 starts, 12 wins. And here he is, the track recorder holder here coming back. All right. Up the stalls, Mowbray. But I hope uh, for all concerned that our Katie has a trouble-free run here on in. He's only six and he's a gelding and there's plenty of racing left in our Katie. And I'm sure Johnny Morris, his trainer, would be absolutely delighted with the way that horse went to the post to finish officially in fifth place. Now Out in a good line too, one of the best away on the outside, such a pleasure with Faye Roos travelling forward. Gillo's right there with Lady Rialton and deliciously pushing up on the inside. Then Blazer Cano hit and run and out deep on the track, then Rona around the outside of Southlands. Desert Mistral further back from Morissette, two further back in the race, Tonicity. With the line and five lengths, Miss Angelique at the 800 metre turn, deliciously up on the inside of Faye Roos and deep is such a pleasure. Third, two and a half Gillo. Off the fence, fourth on the outside of Blazer Cano, a half length further back, Lady 
Bernie Rialton. Behind them, hit and run and very deep as Rainer won Southlands Morissette. Desert Mistrally inside from a line and further back then, Tenicity. Three to Miss Angelique, 5.50 to go. Such a pleasure, took it up now. Gillo the Grey is after it, deliciously back on the fence. Fayer is back to fourth. A length for the back, Desert Mistral, followed by Lady Rialton. Then Morissette and a line is out very deep. Up on the inside, deliciously just in front, but Gillo is ranging to it quickly and travelling well. Gillo has gone to deliciously on the turn from such a pleasure. Desert Mistral back on the inside, but the Grey went for home on the outside. Gillo, race two and a half in front. Hit and run out of the pack, coming quickly. Hit and runners after Gillo. Gillo in front. Hit and run's got it. Hit and run took the lead wider out to Nicity, but Hit and run comes away, wins a length. Tenicity grabs second. Gillo stopped to a walk to run third. After racing clear on the turn from Desert Mistral Morissette, the outside Miss Angelique's picked up a ton of ground from a line. Then Faye Roos, but further back then such a pleasure. Deliciously pulling up quickly. Further back then Rona from Southlands. A gap then Lady Rialton. And back there with it is Blazer Carno. Number five hit and run, 10.70, 2.70, one Tenicity, 4.10 and three Gillo, 1.30. Five hit and run, 9.70, 2.70, one Tenicity, 4.10, three Gillo, $1.30. Second goes Tenicity, who's come from second last with a long run. And Gillo, after dashing clear, turning for home, has folded up to run third, 5.13, 5.13. Well, she claimed those leaders such a pleasure and deliciously when they turned. The grey gouts looked over his right shoulder, had a peak, looked to be travelling sweetly. He beat those off inside him. Quickly put two lengths on them with a couple of cracks around its tail and then hit and run and came out of the pack. But she wasn't there for long, this grey. He gave it another couple of decent welts, but uh, she wasn't finding much. Hit and run got her and then Tenicity from the back of the field, last of the pack, has come down the outside to run second. Now, Newcastle update ahead of toes. OK, we'll leave that there. Let's head back to Queanbeyan. Check all the details there with Tony. Numbers on the second race, 11 3 They're racing in the 1999 AJC St. Ledger, and they came away in a good line. Triple Crown is one of the early leaders, but here's Ronnie is very much keen to get on with the job and lead. And as they straighten up for the first time, and it's here's Ronnie taking over from Triple Crown. Inshallah, third, Kugel Hob fourth, and then striding edge, Zazabel, followed by Battlewise the Arm, a length and a half to praise indeed, not getting too far away. About two and a half lengths, the stablemate Salieri, Sam, and Harmon close up on the inside untrue. Down the stretch they travel to the judge around to go and here's Ronnie is the leader by a couple of lengths or so on triple crown. Striding edge wide third. Inshallah fourth the inside three deep and fifth is battle wise. Kugelhoff in the centre. On the fence the filly Zazabel followed by the arm racing on the inside of praise indeed and then untrue. Second last in the field is Salieri Sam and two and a half lengths to hum. This is the order as they turn out of the straight in the St. Ledger and gallop along past the 1900 metres and the lead is ears Ronnie about a length and three quarters on triple crown over on the inside as inshallah battle wise is making ground now followed by striding edge has found himself pratted out very deep a gap to Kugelhoff and then Zaza Bell praise indeed the arm from untrue second last in the race is Salieri Sam at a couple of links to its stable mate hum working to the back of the track now leaving the 1600 peg behind them at ears Ronnie second and last week Sydney Cup leads the way by a length and three quarters on battle wise inshallah third and then striding edge a trifle wide from triple crown then comes Zazabel on the inside from Kugel Hopf and two and a half lengths further away in the field is praise indeed at the favorites girth on the inside is the arm at a couple of lengths then to untrue parked inside Salieri Sam and Hummer still last about 12 lengths off the lead occupied by is Ronnie but the rider on Kugel Hopf decides it's not going to be the rider on is Ronnie dictating terms because Kugel Hopf in a lightning raid swept up to take the lead narrowly from ears Ronnie onto the side. A length and a half third is striding edge followed by battle wise. Inchilar on the rails. About two lengths and a triple crown. Zazabel followed by praise indeed. He's being hard written the favourite by Greg Charles. He lost some ground there. The arm at untrue went away from praise indeed. Four lengths Salieri Sam at a length the hum as they come down to the 600. And the leader again clearly is ears Ronnie. He gets away about a length or so. Kugelhoff. Two to Inchilar. Zazabel striding edge untrue. 
battle wise and the favourites dropped out Stone Motherless Praise indeed and he's under the stick to boot around the bend 400 to go in the St Ledger here's Ronnie in front but here's Inshallah on the outside taking ground off here's Ronnie Zazabel is starting to chime in and then Kugelhop nothing else a chance but Inshallah and Raymond Shane Dye they race away down to the 100 metres a length on Zazabel who's fighting on solidly Inshallah hasn't got a lot left Zazabel is coming at Inshallah Inshallah hanging on and Inshallah wins the St Ledger Inshallah, I'd say, narrowly from Zazabel and a distant third is Ronnie. Followed home by Kugelhoff and praise indeed. Further away in the race then came Salieri Sam, the arm battle-wise triple crown. And then Hum, a long margin to one true. And then we had Striding Edge, who has finished back at the uh, tail of the field here. But let's just look for praise indeed. Now, where in the heck, uh, there he is. There's Praise indeed pulling up uh, back in the ruck in the St Ledger. He was gone coming up to approach the home corner. 10 Insular, 640 and 210. 12 Zazabel, 140. 2 is Ronnie, 190. Stand by for placings. Number 10 is the winner. And that is Inshallah, written by Shane Dye. Number 10, Inshallah, written by Shane Dye is first. 760 and 210. Number 12, Zazabel is second, a dollar fifty. And number two is Ronnie, third, a dollar eighty. It's ten, twelve, and two in the St. Ledger. And the winner in Shalar, trained by Gay Waterhouse for Mr. A. R. Galbraith, a Bay Mare 5 by Zabil from Fiery Packs. And on this day, on which the inaugural running of the TJ Smith Stakes took place. Here is TJ's daughter, Gay, winning the Ansett Australia St. Ledger with Inshallah. Very fitting. Very fitting indeed. OK, now the, uh, the margins and time are coming up. In fact, it was only a short head. The Quinellas paid 15.70. Exactor, what's that Exactor? They've still got the second race Exactor up on the screen. Exactor is 29.40. Yeah, Titan there. Josie Velez has taken a narrow lead from Stonehaven Star and look aware and Josie Velez. Josie Velez wins it, getting right through Dragon Ball second. Third in the race, look aware, but it got very badly tightened for room. Stonehaven Star behind them from Mixed Trip, who weakened mine her Jansen, all going high ho last. Okay, that was the end of that race at uh, Mowbray. Seven Josie for Lairs to return seven dollars. The win one eighty. The place on the Super Tab. Second placing going to four Dragon Ball to return two forty. One look aware one sixty. Commitments and then come back with a full list of totes on the St Ledger. Two minutes away. The next at Cheltenham and we'll be going there very shortly for the uh, call and uh, taking a look at the update for. and they've broken a beautiful line too. Mr. Obliging couldn't go early, went back to last and one of the first out street fight with it, Emigret and Raptor getting up on the inside. Further out on the track here is Rancho Spark with Sir Boom showing some speed. Two lengths to Grand Bay, ridden off the pace today. Then came the Shiner, followed by Belzevere Star Grazer. Well back in the race then came Ben's Rocket and Mr. Obliging. Raptor off the fence and street fight. Three quarters Rancho Spark. Two to Sir Boom, fourth, fifth the inside as Emigret. Grand Bay to the outside won the Shiner. Three lengths further back Bell, Zavia, Star, Grazer, Ben's Rocket Mr. Obliging last of all. Inside the 600, Rancho Spark goes up to Raptor and Street Fight dropping off a length then Grand Bay putting in a run out deep around Sir Boom. Emigrant back to the inside and the Shiner's running on well to the outside from Bell, Zavia and Ben's Rocket Rancho Spark, Raptor to the turn from Grand Bay, three out. Four out the Shiner, the outside, two to Sir Boom then Ben's Rocket and Emigrant and Bell, Zavia.